Hello YouTube! It is Friday, March 27th, 4.38 p.m. Gorgeous day. It is 88 degrees outside. And uh, a little bit of whiskey clouds here. I am meeting my buddy Jake at Cedar Lake for match number three. After two matches, we are all tied up one and one. So we're going to record match number three today. I'm trying to get tuned up for my first MGA tournament of the year tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to record that and share it with you. My playing has been, what's worse than a dumpster fire? A smoldering dumpster fire where it's just like cow crap burning or something? I got a new square strike wedge. My chipping has been so bad. What I really wanted to do was fix my swing, fix my chipping issues, but I'm not having any luck with that either. So I succumbed and bought the square strike wedge. I haven't used it yet. Uh, hit it in the yard a little bit, hit it a little bit uh, yesterday at the range, and we'll see how it goes. I mean, it can't be any worse than my regular chipping. So, uh, come back to you in a second when I got Jake. I said the course was packed today. The course has been closing at 7 today. They said they need the carts in by 6.30. It's a little before 5. He kind of really discouraged us from playing golf. But we're going to do what we can and record what we can. He said it's packed, so we're going to try to get off in a hurry so we don't hold anybody up. When we catch up with somebody, I'll take a little more time recording, but we're going to go ahead and just get this match started. No warm-ups, no nothing. Say hey, Jake. Hey, Jake. Find it. Nancy. by the no more carts sign. Takes about 155 out uphill. Probably plays like 165. Can I count that first swing as a breakfast ball? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> I can give you one. Uh-oh. Take my first stroke on a golf course with my square strike. I have no idea how hard to hit this. Jake beat me on the first hole. Huh? I was just telling everybody that Jake beat me on the first hole, so the match is Jake is up by one. A little short on the left. Oh, it might not be short. Hey, you're down there near me. Oh. Jeez Louise, <laughs> Practically putted it down there. Ended up a little uh, left, I think a little short. There. We're gonna try to knock him in and let you know. All right, I got on in two. And two putted for bogey. Jake also got a bogey. So Jake's still up, one. Going on to hole number three, par five. Jake has honors, but we're trying to play fast here. I'm gonna go ahead and go. There's people in the fairway up there. They're perfectly safe. Huge slice, and it landed on the cart path. It's up there, I hope I can find it. Oh, that's right down the middle of the fairway. Nice. 
Okay. All right, I found it. Looks like I can get a swing on it. The hole's way up there. I'm still 250 plus, so I'm gonna try to aim there and slice it around that tree. It wasn't what I was trying to do, but it's closer. I don't know what exactly happened, I don't think he was happy with it. So it rolled up the hill and then it kind of rolled down the side hill here. Looks like I'm probably 165 out. Make the green clear uh, for no reason. Nothing short, but I'm gonna chip away. Man, do I go over the bunker or not? Let's square strike. I'm gonna aim for the center of the green. Square strike did pretty good. Um, I think I may have had the club face closed a little bit. And I swung too hard. I think I'm in the bunker on the left side of the green up there. We didn't want to talk about the scores we got on that, but let's just say we tied. So match is still Jake up by one. That's where they all end up. Jake pushed his out right. Mine sliced. Oh, sliced is bad today. So I figure I'm probably 215, 220 out. Chance I could make it there with my three wood. But I'm gonna go with the three hybrid. Those guys in the green there. So fat, but it's back in play. About 90 yards out, going in approach play. Ooh! I had it just where the fringe meets the green and rolled back a little bit. So without divulging how poorly we're playing, we tied on that hole again. So it's still Jake up one on this match. And short? Yeah. Shit, I lost it. What? I lost it. If I could just not slice the ball, that'd be nice. I'm well short and left of the green. I mean right of the green because of my slice. Look right over the square strike wedge again. Um, man, I am just loving this thing. I haven't... I haven't hit a bad shot with it yet. It's all about me trying to learn the speed. Let's give it another try. Square strike wedge. I'm going the black because the uh, green, I don't know, it looks just cheesy. chip it in but that was another good chip from a square strike I give that a 9 out of 10 so so far <laughs> I'm loving the square strike way way to go Jake so yeah Jake chipped out of the green hit the cup the ball stopped within a club length which he said that there's a sign on the door that says if you hit the cup and you're within a club length you're considered in so we're giving Jake a legit birdie on hole number five. Jake goes up in the match two to nothing.
closer. Yeah, that was pretty crappy. You know, uh, hit a sky ball, and Jake, I'll be about 50 yards. I'm about 200 yards out, waiting for the green to clear. I got a one in 10,000 chance of getting to the green from here. Although the wind's at my back. A bad shot, it's not quite on the green, it's a little short, but I'm pretty happy with it. See what Jake's had done here. Oh, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking right now and jinx it. I'm on the fringe. That was uh, a pretty good shot for me for 200 out. Jake does here. Nice, Jake. So I said earlier, I'm shipping everything that's off the green, but that one, I wasn't wanting to experiment with. I needed to get a hole back. Just like glove on the ground. I'm not gonna pick it up with the coronavirus going around. So I planted that from the fringe and buried it. So that was the first birdie I have of me on my channel. Super happy with that. I mean, it should have happened, you know, months and months ago. Uh, big ups to Jake for his birdie. I wish I would have gotten it better on camera and I wish I would have been recording putts at this point, but I wasn't, uh, like I said, we were in such a rush. So some putts are coming up here, but yeah, super stoked to finally have a birdie on my channel now. Back to the regularly scheduled program. <laughs> so now the match is um, two to one. Jake's got two, I've got one. 